I have fibrosis of the lungs. There is no good treatment for this disease. I often have hypoxemia. One night, I had just fallen asleep. I felt like I was suffocating. My nose was completely blocked and I couldn't open my mouth. As a result, my breathing stopped. Everything turned a dull gray color. My mind also started to slow down significantly until I couldn't think at all. All of this happened within two minutes. The moment I turned my gaze upward, I became lucid. I could think clearly again. A tunnel appeared above my head. I was swept into the tunnel. The walls of the tunnel were solid black. There was a golden light flickering inside the tunnel. It was like seeing fireflies at night. At the end of the tunnel was a bright light. Before entering the tunnel, the only thing I felt was fear. However, inside the tunnel, I felt the exact opposite. I felt that I had made the right choice. My body was now an empty shell without a soul, and I no longer needed it. After I left it, I would be free. I had a feeling that I was finally going home. I thought I would reach straight to the other side, but I was stopped before I could enter it. It was a huge transparent wall. I was surrounded by souls who were walking without a purpose, like zombies. I saw a man to my left, whose face I couldn't see. He was wearing a denim jacket and a cowboy hat. He told me, I shouldn't talk to those people because they wouldn't pay attention to me. They are not conscious, they just live in a dream world. They walk like robots. It made me very sad and I felt very sorry for them. I was also very confused, why did I appear in the tunnel? Why couldn't I go to the other side of the tunnel? I didn't know what would happen to me next. At that moment, I heard a man's voice. The voice said, don't cross the wall in front of you, your mission is not yet complete. I know the disease has caused you much pain, now give me your sorrow. The words were full of love and concern. I have never felt such intense love in all my life. I need to clarify that when I was a child. My father was verbally and physically abusive to me. My father often said, I am a useless piece of shit and the physical abuse was painful. I wanted my father to be proud of me, but that was not the case. The man continued to tell me, you can hang in there and everything will be fine. He stroked my head and cheek, and then hugged me with his hands. Whenever I think about it, I want to weep. He said to me, it's time. I asked, what do you mean? He answered me, it's time to go back. But I didn't want to go back, I wanted to stay but he gave me the reason why I had to come back. I can't remember much of this conversation. Later, I returned to my body. The next morning, I was lying in a hospital bed. I looked out the window and I saw Jesus. Jesus was looking at me with a smile on his face. Then I asked my mother, who was beside me, do you see Jesus in the window? She thought I was hallucinating. She also reminded me to get some rest. For some time after I returned home, I prayed to God often. I asked Him to help me forget this experience so that I could live a normal life. Because of this memory, my desire to go home became stronger. A few months afterwards, negative emotions came to my mind, which caused me great pain. It didn't take long for me to fall into depression. I prayed every day for God to take me home, but received no feedback. I felt abandoned. I knew I couldn't meet God through suicide, so I kept adjusting myself. Over the next two years, I continued to learn and adjust my mind. 
my life became rich. More importantly, I learned the joy of helping others. I fulfilled the mission God gave me to help people release their fear of death. I have shared my experience with many people in the hope of giving them some help. Death is just a doorway to a better life. There is nothing to be afraid of. After hearing the first story, how do you feel about death? Feel free to tell me in the comment section. Next is our second story. I have a congenital heart disease. I had an appointment at the hospital for a checkup in a week because I had a lot of work to take care of in the next few days. One night. I collapsed at home. My friend, a nurse, is now my wife. We didn't live together at that time, she lived very close to my house. I told her about the situation and she wanted me to go to the hospital that day for a checkup. I was reluctant to go because I had to go to another city tomorrow for business and had a lot of information to prepare. She kept calling me and telling me to go as soon as possible and that she would go with me. My friend drove me to the hospital, which made me very touched. When I got to the hospital, I just wanted to get it over with so it wouldn't interfere with my work tomorrow. The nurse did some routine checks on me. Next, the doctor told me to go to the treadmill for a stress test. I had just been running for three minutes when I felt a little uncomfortable. I had done this test before and never had a problem. As the speed increased, it became more and more difficult for me to breathe. I felt like I was walking in a swamp. The test technician told me to hold on a little longer so that the data would be more accurate. I continued to run for another minute. Suddenly, there was darkness before my eyes. When I woke up, I was lying in a hospital bed. I heard the nurse say to the doctor that his blood pressure kept dropping and we were losing him. I felt weaker and weaker, and all around me the doctors became busy. I knew I couldn't go anywhere but the hospital right now. I felt like I was going to die, and I felt the fear of death. I didn't want death to get me. I started praying and asking God to let me live. If I had to die, I hoped that God would take me instead of Satan. I told God that if it was time for me to go home, I was ready to do so. After the prayer, I was completely relaxed and all my fears left me. I knew God had heard my prayer and bought me more time. I was taken into the operating room. The doctor was there to comfort me during the preparation. My consciousness was growing fuzzy. After I left my body for the first time, I appeared in a tunnel. This tunnel was very dark and kept spinning. I didn't see any white light. My first thought was that I was dead. I didn't see the white light, and I was going to hell. Suddenly, I regained consciousness. The doctors and nurses were busy at work. After a while, I left my body again. This time, I appeared at the exit of the tunnel, and I could see the sky outside. When I got out of the tunnel, I was mesmerized by the beauty in front of me. I was standing on the top of a mountain. The air was so fresh and it felt like it was spring here and my favorite season. There are dense forests and clear rivers. The opposite slope is full of wildflowers and flowers of all colors. If you think the colors on earth are gorgeous, you're wrong. The colors here are much more muted. There were many animals playing on the lawn. I have never seen such a beautiful view before. I heard a man's voice. He told me, keep going and come to me. I was puzzled, there was a cliff in front of me. I didn't pay attention to the voice. I felt very relaxed here. I could see many fish swimming in the water, and they looked up at me. 
pigeons flew over my head and looked at me curiously. I also noticed a group of lions sunbathing by the river. Across the hill from me, there was a path. The path continued from the top to the bottom of the hill. At this time, I was caught by a bright light and I couldn't take my eyes off of it anymore. At this time, the man's voice reappeared. Keep walking forward and come to me. This time, I didn't hesitate. I stretched out my right foot, and suddenly, I was flying. I was like a bird gliding through the air, and I loved that feeling so much. I flew through a forest and then towards the bright light. The closer I got to this light, the stronger I felt the love. Then I saw a sight I will never forget in my life. He was wearing a pure white robe with a beautifully embroidered collar. His hair and beard were long. A delightful white aura emanated around him. We sat on a rock by the river. He reminisced about my life. My life is like a movie. In certain scenes it would stop playing and he would ask me how I felt at the time. These scenes were all about my interactions with other people. I found that I had unintentionally hurt people on several occasions and it made me feel guilty. I saw the worst scenes were my ex-girlfriend and I hadn't broken up and I was dating other girls. When the memories ended, I thought I was a bad person. He didn't judge me. I felt so ashamed that I started crying. He said, this is not to punish you. When you go back, I hope you will be a better version of yourself. Then we talked for a long time. Finally he told me, I can't stay in heaven yet, I still have a mission to accomplish down there. Suddenly, I was back in my own body. I was lying on the hospital bed and I felt like I had a very strange dream. While I was still thinking back to what I had just experienced, my doctor walked in. He said to me, I have good news and bad news. The good news is that you are alive and the bad news is that you have died twice and it is a miracle that you are alive. As my heart stopped for the last time, the doctor heard someone whisper in his ear, keep working and I'll get him back. Since then, my life has changed. After this experience, my friend and I became a couple. And soon we got married. Now our son is eight years old. I care more about my health and my family than I do about my success at work. I now spend more time with my family. I now have a new direction because the work God has given me is not yet finished. I don't have a fear of death now, I know it's just a new beginning.